Okay guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about moving to a different country with your pets. So I moved to Mexico City with my three pets. I have two dogs and one cat. My cat's name is Augie and my dog's names are Tofu and Louie. Tofu is a little chihuahua and Louie is a chihuahua rat terrier mix. And I'm going to tell you about how we moved with our pets and all the requirements and things that you need to know before moving to Mexico City. So check the requirements of the airline that you want to travel with. We flew with American Airlines and each pet cost $125 USD. It's expensive, um, but we wanted to fly straight from Arizona to Mexico City nonstop. So it's more expensive when you're flying from out of the States. It's about a three and a half hour flight. And we wanted it just to go as smoothly as possible with no layovers. And so they charged $125 per pet and only one pet can fly per person. So because we had three pets, my husband and I had one animal and then my twin sister flew with us to help us with the third animal. So for us, we're flying from the United States. So we went onto this website called AFIS, www.afis.usd. I'll link that website in the description below. So you just go onto the website, you select the country destination, so in our case, Mexico. And on there, it said that Mexico doesn't require health certificates. I would just get one anyways, because in our experience, when we went to the airport, they were still asking for and looking for the health certificates. So I would just definitely, just to be safe and so you're not stuck at the airport or anything like that, just get go ahead and get the health certificate for each pet. In our case, the health certificate needed to be within a 10 day time period um, or at least 10 days before the trip. So make sure that you schedule with your vet within that time frame to be compliant with the time frame. Planning for your trip to the vet. When you go to the vet, make sure you get the health certificate. Make sure you get their proof of vaccinations printed out. They're going to need a rabies shot at least 30 days prior. They're going to need to be checked for parasites, get a distemper vaccine. Be sure to have the address of the place that you're staying in Mexico ready, so your Airbnb. That way you can give it to your veterinarian and they're going to put your destination address onto the health certificate. Before they print off the health certificate, double check that they have all the information correct, such as your information no typos, make sure your pet's names are spelled correctly. Just double double check that way um, because if you, <laughs> just double check just that way just to be sure that way when you get to the airport they don't give you problems for that. Another thing I would recommend is to make sure that it has the vet's name, license number, and that your veterinarian signs in e signs their name in ink. And then also get two copies of your health certificate just in case um, just in case they take it for their records at the airport. And then this is one thing that helped us a lot is that we had a folder where we put everything in because you're going to have a lot of papers, you're going to have a lot of things that you don't want to lose. So we have um, a folder with Louie and Tofu and then Augie's information and it has everything in there, every past vet visit all of their vaccination records, and it also has their health certificate. So this is the health certificate, and it's signed by the doctor, or signed by the veterinarian. Get you one of these, it's very helpful when you're in the airport, you have all your pets, and you just have this ready to go, and you can give it to anyone that asks you any questions. You be prepared. Okay, and before you fly, Make sure that you order your pet carrier at least three months in advance. That way you can train them with it, make them comfortable, train positive reinforcement, use treats, put blankets in there, make it feel really homey. The idea is to create positive experiences so that the pet feels comfortable going in the crate and it's not some scary traumatizing thing for them. 
They want to feel safe and comfortable in their carrier so that when the day comes for you to fly that they're just going to go in there with no problems. That's the ideal situation. Another thing we did is we bought CBD oil. I would highly recommend doing this. It's pet grade CBD oil, 100 milligrams organic active CBD for cats and dogs. So it recommends for cat you do half of a dropper and for dog you do a full dropper. This really helped chill them out. It helped with their anxiety. I would definitely recommend just getting this if your dog has anxiety in general, like with fireworks or separation anxiety. So yeah, pet relief. Another thing that we did was we brought this little collapsible bowl. It's nice because it takes up no space. It has a little keychain thing. And this was for water, so in case they got thirsty, we brought this little silicone bowl. If you're gonna bring them food, bring it in a Ziploc, a little Ziploc baggie. And to be honest, they probably aren't gonna be very hungry because so much is going on, they might be stressed. So also, I would recommend packing their favorite dog treats. That way you can just give them a little treat here and there so they don't get nauseated or nauseous, especially if they are on the CBD oil. So pet treats, a little thing for water. Another thing we did is that we didn't give them any food the night before just to be safe because you never know if they're gonna have an accident in their carrier because they're nervous or they can't hold it. I would also say just be prepared, like mentally prepared for crying if your dog doesn't do well in the carrier, they're gonna freak out. In our case, Louis, he was just a nervous wreck so he was crying and whimpering the entire time especially at takeoff and landing we got lucky we took we took louis out and we held him but i don't it, which is against the rules i wouldn't recommend it but i think that our airline stewardess and the people around us didn't really care because they would rather that than to hear a dog crying for almost four hours so yeah just mentally prepare that that might that it might not go as smoothly even if you do everything that we did you train them it's still going to be scary for them they've never been on an airplane airplanes are really loud and especially when you're taking off and landing and once you land in mexico one of the first things that you're going to have to do is go to it's called the animal inspection area it's called san la Sica. Senasica. You take your pets there and you hand them your documents and they go through all of your records and your documents and they're also going to check your pet again and they're going to look for any ticks or fleas or any open cuts or sores and once all the animals are checked out and approved then you're good to go and you're ready to leave get your bags and leave the airport oh, and then after that you're done so it's it's a really big move and you don't want to be with all your bags and then stuck at the airport because they won't let your pet through so just make sure that you have everything done and if you can train train your pet so that they're not traumatized of the carrier to make your flight a little bit easier Hopefully your flight isn't super long, three and a half hours. I didn't think was that long, but when you're traveling with pets, it's, it's pretty tiring and exhausting and stressful. So yeah, leave any comments below if you have any other questions or if you have any stories about moving with your pets or your travel experiences. And that's all, so thank you. Subscribe if you're interested in more Mexico City content and thank you for watching bye